So you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be introducing you my mortgage partner, and we got a lot to discuss with you. So come on in and let me introduce you. Hey Jonathan, how you doing? How are you doing, Justin? Good, I'm Justin Kelly, President and CEO of CPF Mortgage, and we're excited to be partnered and in bringing information to you guys on this, on this awesome YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be discussing uh, some topics that are important to those of you who are looking to move cross country. Um, you know, what you need to do, things you need to think about, especially if you're getting a mortgage loan and buying a house here in the Tampa area. And we're gonna get after it right now. This is your first time in the channel, a little introduction. My name is Jonathan, I'm a licensed realtor, but also a content creator that shows you everything that has to do with Tampa, not just the real estate side like where to go, where to eat, all the fun things to do, even the mortgage breakdown process. So uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and tap the bell for notifications or subscribe below so you can stay up to date on all things Tampa. And make sure to contact me or my partner, James. All of our information is in the description below. We'll love to help you make that smooth transition over to Tampa. All right, first we're gonna kick it off with, and we're gonna learn a little bit about CPF. All right, yeah, thank you. Jonathan. Uh, so CPF was created in 2007. It's really part of my brother's legacy. He served as a United States Marine and later on in law enforcement. We lost him uh, tragically at a young age. And, and so I dedicated the company to him and named it after him. So his name's Christopher Paul Kelly. So the CPF comes from that. And, uh, you know, he loved helping his community, loved serving. So we wanted to create a company that uh, honors his legacy. All right, let's discuss about moving across country. You know, you really want to start with identifying the area. And identifying the area all depends on your particular lifestyle. So if you're like a young single professional, you might like the lifestyle of like downtown Tampa, you know, where everything's go, go, go. If you're like a, have a family, then you might like the suburbs, you know, downtown Tampa's awesome. It's great, plenty of activities, but it might not be right for like a family in there because there's going to be a lot of uh, condo living versus like single family homes. So that's the first thing you want to do is identify an area uh, that's according to how your particular lifestyle is. Yeah, absolutely. Great yeah. point. The other thing you want to do is you're going to want to identify local professionals in the area, starting with your realtor and agent, um, and then finding a local mortgage broker. These are going to be critical using local individuals because they have connections in the community and those connections are going to yield results for you in your search. All right, next step, you identified your area and you found a local professional, hopefully me. <laughs> what is the next step here? Well, you're gonna find me, okay? And uh, you're gonna get pre-qualified. It's really important. If you're, if you're taking the leap, you're maybe selling your home in another state and you're moving to Florida, you're gonna wanna make sure you can get a loan. And there's some requirements behind getting loans when you're moving across country. A lot of things you need to think about, including employment. Uh, are you transferring your job? What do you do if you're transferring a job? You might have to get a job transfer letter. What if you're obtaining new employment and you don't start until you're moving here? You know, there's certain requirements that you need to meet in order to get financing for that type of situation. So definitely next step, got to get pre-qualified. So tell me, Justin, what if you're self-employed or fully commissioned? That's a great question. And again, one of the reasons why you want to talk to a local mortgage expert. If you're self-employed or fully commissioned, there's something called geographical competence when you're going to get a loan. So you're going to have to reestablish your business in the area you're moving to for at least a year and show one year of income if you're going to use that to qualify for a mortgage. So that's something to think about if you're self-employed or you have a fully commissioned job like a car salesman or something like that. Well, that broke it down, definitely. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the process of getting pre-approved. Okay, yeah, so it's a CPF way, right? So it, we're vastly different than most mortgage companies. A lot of companies are just gonna, you know, talk to you on the phone, take some verbal information, pull your credit, and then send you out shopping for a home. We look at it differently. We need to make sure you're moving across country, you are safe, you have confidence, you know you can close on a mortgage loan. So we're gonna get all the verbal information from you up front. We're gonna pull your credit report, and then we have a validation team. They sit on the front side of the process. They go through all the documents, they validate the income, assets, they look at the credit report, and then we run it through our automated underwriting system. This gives us the green thumb, and you know you're gonna be able to close with confidence. And that's why CPF is a lot more different than your regular pre-approval company. That's right, you can, you can hold weight. There's definitely weight behind our pre-approval process. All right, you finished your pre-approval, 
Now, the fun part starts. You get to go back with Jonathan and his team and find your dream home. And here's where all the fun happens. You get to find out exactly what place is gonna be right for you. And not only I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give you a list of certain houses that meet your needs, I'll also give you the lay of the land. So the process will be either doing video tours or I recommend uh, just flying in for the weekend and actually getting to know uh, where you're at. So you, you, get, to, you, get, to, you get to tour these houses and you get to also, I take you around around the neighborhood. You know, you wanna find out you know some fun things to do, some little cool little hidden gyms and also some great places to eat. These are all uh, parameters that you, you, you want to take in consideration on uh, where you're moving because this is going to be your home. You know, you also, you just want, don't want to have a nice house. You want to have a nice community. So these are all things to take in consideration. And these are some of the things that I'm going to show you while you move here. All right, now that you found your dream home and exactly where you want to live, then we're under contract. You're all up to Justin's hands from here on in. That's right. And our skilled processing team takes it from here. They're all in-house. Um, lots of experience and our, our process takes it from start disclosing the loan to you, sending your state federal disclosures, explaining the loan, the terms, getting everything locked in for you, and then taking it all the way to the closing table. And, and you know, we hear this a lot from people moving across the country. Uh, what if I got to sell my house up north? Not a problem. We do simultaneous closings where you sell your home up north and close on the new one in Florida same day. That way you can move all your stuff right down here and right in your house. Does it get any better than that? And there you have it. It's from A to Z, the steps you need to take when you're moving across country and you need to get a mortgage loan. And of course, make sure to contact me or my partner, James. All of our information is going to be in the description below. We would love to help you make a smooth transition over to Tampa.